Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, another episode of Mythos Deviations. If you don't know what Mythos Deviations are, let's just go to the front page of this. Oh, wow, that's not that. This, yeah, there we go. A set of six scenarios and six investigators to supplement six official campaigns. 666, hail Satan. Um, we love Satan here. Uh, we uh, These are designed by Beard. And they are designed to be DLC, quote unquote, for uh, existing campaigns. We have done Dunwich, Carcosa, Forgotten Age, and now we're here in the Circle Undone Event Horizon uh, scenario for this. Um, notably, I whiffed the Carcosa one, but did pretty good on the Dunwich and the Forgotten Age one, so I'm excited to see how this one goes. Um, this one is meant to be played after the secret name, The Wages of Sin, or For the Greater Good. So let's read some lore. Um, if you are playing Event Horizon as a standalone scenario, read intro two. You've come to expect many cold and gloomy nights in Arkham, but the air tonight is colder than any of you remember. You try to shake off the chill, but something else lingers on the breeze, a faint and discordant piping drifting from French Hill, drifting from the French Hill neighborhood. With each step you take towards the district, the coldness and strength of the rushing air increase until at last you stand in sight of a void. You can't even call it a portal. Rather, the absence of space, steadily ripping apart and drawing in the landscape around it. The nearby neighborhood is practically abandoned for good reason, but among the increasing chaos, three figures catch your eye. The first is a tall man in a gray prim suit, the second a red-haired woman in a flowing white dress, and the third, the well-known mystic Anna Caslow. Each of them gaze with purpose of the void, but glancing suspiciously toward the other two. You might learn something from one of them. Um, okay... Oh, we get we get some components. Okay. So it's Joseph, Aaron, and Anna. I mean, we'll talk to Anna. So for the remainder of the scenario, remember that you have Gilman's Journal, Scrap of Torn Shadow, and Cornhusk Doll. That's kind of neat. Okay, so we have Gilman's Journal. We have Scrap of Torn Shadow. And we have Corn Husk Doll. All right. Proceed to set up. Gather all cards from the Event Horizon, Agents of Azathoth, Ancient Evils, Chilling Cold, Inexorable Fate, and Night Gaunts and Counter Sets. These are indicated by the following icons. Put the hole in the universe, Rhodes Estate, Atkins Estate, all these into play. Then choose an inner location. Each investigator begins at the chosen location. So we can start at one of the estates. Hole in the universe is connected to each adjacent French Hill location and vice versa. Okay. So the following cards aside, Piper, Bazathoth, Singularity, Harbinger, Void Mantle, Shelf, the, the rest of the things. Okay, uh, let's start at the Rhodes Estate because we love... Nathaniel Rhodes, don't we, folks? So clues cannot be discovered from the Rhodes estate except via illicit or and trick cards. Parlay, test brain or book two. If you succeed, you may treat the printed text box on Rhodes, Rhodes estate as if it were blank until the end of your turn. You may spend any amount of resources to reduce the test difficulty by one for each resource spent. Interesting. Okay. I mean, honestly, we might have just lucked our way into that. <laughs> All right, let's see our opening mulligans. We have Winifred Habamuck and Parallel Agnes for this one. So one, two, three, four, five. We do have a Thieves Kit, which is awesome. That's kind of like why we're here. Um, I like the Sleight of Hand as well. I don't know if we're going to keep it. I mean, like, it could be nice to just hold it for the other one. Uh, honestly, this is actually kind of looking kind of goaded, maybe? We play this one, try to draw onto the other one. And just like, we're just going to throw cards at this. I mean, we could sleight of hand this one in. Sleight of hand this one in and just like investigate. Maybe we have to move too. All right, I'm going to burn this one and keep that. We'll see how this is going to go. All right, Agnes, what do you got? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got a Spectral Razor. We have a Scroll of Secrets. Oh, we have a Drain Essence as well. I think I'm going to keep the Drain Essence instead of the Spectral Razor to start, oddly enough. Okay. Uh, we want to dig to find an Olive. If we can find an Olive, we're in a good place. 
Oh, I have to do only f I have to do five less cards in this deck, right? Her deck size is 25. One second. Okay, now her, now her deck is legal. I was just an autopilot. I was like 30 deck 30 uh, deck size. That's what you do all the time, right? I mean, in theory, it should totally help our mulligan. All right. Okay, well, that was a little whoopsie, but luckily I realized right now. <laughs> I could have just, I mean, honestly, my deck, I think, would have been legal if I was just a regular Agnes back, because I think I just have only Mystic cards. So it would have been legal otherwise. I could have just said I was playing with the other, the normal side. But alas, I did not. All right, um, honestly, I think I am going to do some stuff here. So this is an illicit card. Um, so we are going to Sleight of Hand in this Thieves Kit. Uh, and then we're going to investigate. I'm going to commit this quick thinking and this opportunist. So we're going to go um, eight to two because we go um, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to go eight to two to start things off. Minus three, fail, move once towards the hole in the universe. So, oh, sorry, I'm also going to draw a card with my ability because we had the stuff committed. That's a nice draw. We're not going to play it yet. I think we're going to play it next turn because we want to use as much of this Thieves Kit as we can. Um, so we had five to two. So we get to return this to our hand. We get to get a clue. We get to gain two resources. We get to take an extra action this turn. Okay, let me just think on this. So if we... Play this, investigate. I think we want to get, I think we do want to. And then we can move and investigate one more time. As opposed to investigate. No, because we, I mean, we can move. Okay. So if we investigate, move, investigate, we get two more uses out of this. But we don't get to play the Lucky Cigarette Case, and we're basically losing a card, and we have to play two next turn. If I do play the Lucky Cigarette Case right now, we get to play this, investigate, and move. I think it's worth it to just start getting things moving. All right, and then we're going to invest. I mean, I could just also investigate again, right? We don't need to move. I could just use this to maybe get some money. Uh, we're going to commit these two cards and then draw a card. And we're going to have now six. We're going to have nine to two. So we got five to two. So I do get to return this opportunist to my hand. I do get to draw a card and draw a card. So we're going to draw two cards. We're going to return this to our hand. Uh, and then we will also gain two resources. I think for my last action, uh, I'm just going to investigate at six to two. And that's fine. Okay. And then this is going to come back into my hand. Get out of here. I can just discard you and then bring you back to my hand. Okay. I'm not upset about that. Uh, what do we do over here? We go one, two, and we play all the McBride. And then I guess we just like face check a location, right? Let's move in here. The Byfair Gardens. If Bloody Tree Carving is listed under your mementos discovered, uh, reduce the shroud value of Briarfair, uh, Bayfriar Gardens by two. After you evade a non-elite enemy at Bayfriar Gardens, if there are no clues on... Oh, what are our accent agendas? We should probably do that. Don't forget to pick up the second clue. I don't want it. I don't want it. I assume we just need clues. All right. With each passing moment, parts of the district break off and plummet into the dark void suspended above it. How much longer can Arkham sustain the damage? As an action, we can resign. You escape the destruction consuming French Hill. Uh, the scenario may not end when the snare advances, but the black hole will consume. To doom. Um... It stands to reason that something more tangible here uh, here on Earth brought this void about, and whatever did cause it has left traces behind, assuming they weren't destroyed by the hole already. Uh, if Gilman's journal, it is, is listed under mementos discovered in the campaign log, reduce the amount of clues required for this act by player. So it only costs us eight clues as opposed to ten. At the end of the round, investigators may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. I was thinking I was missing something. Okay, well, that's a high shroud location. We're just going to draw a card for our last action. That's a good draw. 
Hi, let's go upkeep. The 13th vision, you say. The heirloom of Hyperborea, you say. All right. On wings of darkness. So this is going to take us into the void, which is kind of fun. Uh, five to four. I think we need to be aggressive, right? We just commit these two cards and draw a card, because I think we, we just want to, like, make sure... Uh, we want to, like, make sure that we are, um... Cycling through our deck. Because I, I've never played, like, a Winifred where I've been, like, hyper-aggressive on it, so that's what I'm... That's the new me. Uh, so we get plus... Seven? So we're 12 to four? Nice, we'll draw another card. And then this is going to come back to our hand. Okay. Pull the void. Test brain or foot four. If scrap of torn shadow was listed under mementos discovered, it is. You get plus two skip by with this test. If you fail, move once towards uh, hole in the universe and lose one resources. Two resources instead if you're at hole in the universe. Okay. Hey, that's the cover art. That's the cover art. Okay, so then we get to go seven to four. Yeah. Minus one. If you fail by two or more, discard an asset you control. Okay. Honestly, pretty all right. Um, I think Agnes is going to spend all of her resources to drop this and that. And then we're going to, you know, actually we probably should have cut the, um, we probably should have cut the, uh, I'll discard this. We probably should have cut the freaking Holy Rosaries when we cut the cards because we have this Heirloom of Hyperborea. That's okay. Uh, we have one action left. I think we're just going to move in here. Uh, haunted or uh, Exhaust or discard an ally as you control, you must choose one. Treat each... Um, skull, cultist, tablet, squid, um, re uh, revealed while investigating as an auto fail instead. Holy hell. If Wisp of Spectral Mist is listed under Remental Discovery, you may ignore this effect. Okay. Uh, Winifred's going to move in here for her first action. Interesting. That's a crazy ass card. Uh, while you're investigating Atkins in a state, uh, state, you get minus one shroud for each treachery in your threat area. It's a five shroud otherwise. Uh, I am going to spend one, two, three to play our Thieves' Kit. It's back, baby. Uh, do we investigate? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to draw a card. Nice. That's going to do nothing for me. <laughs> All right. Upkeep. Another sleight of hand. A voice of Ra is really nice. Oh, this is going to advance. Okay. If there are one or more uh, lo uh, locations adjacent to hole in the universe, with the sound of shattering masonry, an entire structure bakes, breaks from its foundation and disappears in the void. The entire world... Uh, sorry, the entire world seems to fold, all drawing right towards the edge. Choose a location adjacent to hole in the universe and remove it from play. Replace it in the victory display if it is revealed and has victory X with no clues on it. Move each investigator enemy at the location to hold in the universe. If an inner location was chosen, move the connecting adjacent. <laughs> That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. Okay. So I can like get rid of this one. So we can like get rid of this Rhodes estate. Put it up here. And then this one moves in there. But now these are not connected, so I still need to go around like this. But it is connected to that location. Okay. Flip this agenda back to its A side. That's neat. Okay, that's kind of sick. I mean, like, uh, absolutely destroying Arkham. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to find a solution to this for sure. <laughs> for sure. All right, we have... Um, seven to four. Minus one. Minus three if there are f uh, fewer than six French Hill locations in play. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's just a minus one. So then we have six to the game's four, so we can draw a card. Arrogance. You must commit the arrogance to each other. The skill test you perform, it subtracts instead of add. If it succeeds, return it to your hand. Okay, sure. All right, what do we got? Demonic piping. Yeah, maybe Ward of Protection would have been great. <laughs> Scaring fog. Okay. Hey, Lucas, how's it going? All right, well, Agnes is going to come in here, and she's going to clean out um, her thir uh, Winifred's 13th Vision, and I think Winifred's going to go check out this location. The Web Estate. Three. Three Shroud, four Clues. While Carson scares out this location, the first non weakness card committed each test at this location gains wild. That's fun. As an additional cost for you to move from Web Estate, choose this card to card from your hand. If Ritual Component is listed, you may ignore this effect. Okay, well, that's a little bit annoying for sure, for sure. But... Um, I guess we're just gonna use our Thieves Kit and grab some clues. So we have six, seven, eight. Draw a card. Oh, sorry, this has to be committed too. That's a nice draw. So we're gonna go eight to three. Great. Everyone, you love to see it. I mean, we do lose the arrogance. So that was actually seven to three, but we do lose the arrogance. Uh, and then we're gonna go again. And I'm going to commit this watch this, and we're going to put the house on it, and this opportunist, and then we're going to draw a card. And then we have six, seven, eight to the game's three. That's a minus one. So we are going to gain one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to then return this one to our hand. And then we're going to gain two resources on this. Dude, if we can find our Lola Santiago, we're swimming. We're swimming. We also need some, like, some goons. Some, like, something for this, our goon to do. Holy Rosary. I think I'll just take that into my hand. Like, why say no to a card? All right. Um, for my first action, we're going to Voice of Raw, and then I'm going to draw a card. Um, and I'm going to reveal... Seven. So we're going to reveal um, two and then four. So only six. So one, two, and then we're going to reveal four tokens and we're going to choose two of them. One, two, three, four. I'm going to choose these two just because they make me feel the happiest. So then we're going to gain five resources. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Um, two actions left. I'm going to draw a card. Just get ready for war. I'll draw another card. Okay. Upkeep. Quick thinking is really nice. Scroll of Secrets is also good. Get rid of this Holy Rosary. We don't need it. I should have cut that as opposed to the Warder Protections because the Warder Protections do really well against Daemonic Piping. Hey, what can you do, right? Uh, a Demon Courtier. Uh, after it is defeated, so 4-2-3, Hunter Retaliate. After it's defeated, it, uh, its location gains Haunt to take one damage until the end of the round. That's kind of cool. If Strange Incantation is listed on Mementos Discovered in the campaign log, it gets minus two fight. I like this whole um, component thing mattering for that. I think that's a very clever integration. Devotee of Oblivion, spawn any empty location, any location empty possible, aloof. After uh, Devotee of Oblivion or its location or move towards holding the universe, the nearest investigator, Devotee of Oblivion, discards an ask the control. Um... If, is that the whole universe move to connect location? If Kezia's formulae, no. Engage it. Okay, neat. Uh, any empty location? Empty if possible. We put that guy here, I think. Okay. Well. I think Agnes wants to move in here. And I think Agnes wants to grab the demon courtier. Uh, sorry, we're also going to do Scroll of Secrets. Uh, am I going to do it on Winifred? I think so. Grift? I'll just, I'll take it to mine. I can commit it to a card. 
Alright, and then I'm going to take a damage to play this when I'm playing this Drain Essence. So we're going to reduce its cost by two, and then I may shuffle that event in my deck instead of discarding it. So we're going to go, we have five to your four. I'm going to go eight to four. And we're going to Olive. So we're going to reveal four tokens and choose two. And we're going eight to four. I'll choose the plus one and the minus two for a total of minus one. So we're going to draw two cards because we were seven to four. So we're going to draw two cards. We're going to draw a card off this Heirloom of Iverborea. We're going to move two damage from us onto this guy, which is going to kill him. Our location gains Haunted, take one damage until the end of the round. And then I can shuffle this back into my deck. Okay, let's go. Over here, honestly, we're just going to we're going to laugh this Haunted in its face and just try not to worry about it. So we have six to three. We're going to go seven, eight to three. We'll draw a card. That's a good draw. Nice. So we get to um, draw a card with a lucky cigarette case. And we get to get an action back. And we get to grab a clue and get two resources. Honestly, I probably should have run well connected in this deck. It's kind of uh I just got I mean I just got to find a Lola. If we can find a Lola, that would be huge. All right, let's investigate. Uh we're going to use a thief's kit supply. We're going to go 6 to the game's 3. We're going to go 7 8 9 to the game's 3, which is going to allow us to draw a card with our ability because we made two different non-weakness cards I control. Time's running out, baby. <laughs> Time's running out. It's com it comes for us all. Uh, so we're going to go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to 3. Yep. I would love to... Um, if I fail by 2 or more, just go to Nasty Control. Let's bring this Opportunist back to my hand and grab a clue. Then we're going to grab 2 money. Um, I think for my last action, I'm going to just get rid of this Chronophobia. There's no reason, reason for us to rush. I think things are going pretty smoothly so far, and we don't need to worry about it. Let's go upkeep. You're not Lola Santiago. Let's go upkeep. Uh, I don't think we need the Voice of Ra. I don't think we need Holy Rosary. Realistically, I don't think we need Ethereal Weaving, but let's not and say we did. <laughs> All right. Uh, choose a location adjacent to the whole of the universe and remove it from play. Uh, let's kill off, I think, this one. The Briar Fair Gardens. And then we move this in here. Um, okay. A Crypt Chill? Okay. Well, you know, if there's a will, there's a way. We're going to commit a Promise of Power to this. And we're going to commit a Lucky Cigarette Case and a Opportunist, and we're going to draw a card. That's nice. So then we have f uh, one, two, three, seven to four. Uh, minus one, minus three if there are six or fewer left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we lose the opportunist. We don't get the cigarette case, but we do get to keep all of our stuff. Another demon courtier, huh? Another guy for me to hang out with and have a good time. We're all just friends here. We're all just friends. Okay. What do we have to do? To choose and discard a card from our hand. Mm, that's not very cash money of you. But I understand that, you know, you need to throw curveballs my way unless we just, like, ride it out too easily. 
Okay. Dude, am I gonna be sitting- I'm probably gonna be sitting on these ethereal weavings the entire game, huh? That's crazy. Alright. So I think I want Agnes to go first. We're going to take a damage, put it on us, to play this Spectral Razor. And we're going to use Olive, and we're going to go 7 to 4. It's not great, but that's what we're doing. Okay. If a symbol was revealed. So I can choose the minus four in this, because this puts us up to eight. And then this puts us down to four. So we're going to call that an elder sign. I may heal a damage. I would love to. So then this will come back into my hand at the end of my turn. And you are dead. Our location gains haunted. We're going to move into this location. We have to discard a card from our hand. Sorry, Ethereal Weaving, but I just don't respect you. Uh, Haunt, discard cards the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. Spawn that enemy at uh, the uh, Duterte Funeral Home. If worn crucifix, it is not. Okay. Something to do, though. Uh, and then I'm going to take another damage, play this Spectral Razor, and we're going to go uh, engage you. And we're going to go 7 to 2. Nice. You're dead. We're going to shuffle this back into the deck. And then this is going to come back into my hand. Okay, this seems actually like a pretty fun um, loop for Agnes Baker. I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of into it. All right. I mean, I think we get the haste out. Uh, and then I think we do a play action. And we place four supplies on this. That's not what I wanted you to do. But I still appreciate you being here, to be honest. So thank you for being you. Uh, we can then haste another play action. So I'm going to drop down this other Thieves Kit. And then for my last action, we're going to investigate. And we're going to go 6 to 3. I'm going to turn these into other cards. I'm going to keep the scout ahead and turn this into another card. Nice. Uh, so then we have 9 to 3. Nice. We get the clue. We get to draw another card. Well, that haste can be the card we discard to getting out of this location. I would love a Lola Santiago. I know she's in here. That is not Lola, but that's okay. That drain essence is kind of huge. One of two. I'm having a great time. The scenario is, like, just nice and simple. I'm the fool. That's a good person to get this card. Um, but I think I'm just going to go five to four and just hope we make it. Oh, I didn't draw a card to that heirloom of Hyperborea, but that's okay. Okay. That was a great token pull. Um, we're going to move in here for our first action. And we're going to discard this haste from our hand. And then we're going to investigate. Sorry, I should have gained two resources in that lad investigate last turn. We're going to investigate. I'm going to commit this Unexpected Courage and this Scout Ahead, and we're going to draw a card. You're not Lola Santiago. Uh, so we have uh, 10 to 3. That's a minus 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, you're 1, 2. We have 7. Okay, never mind. It's still a minus 1. So we're going to draw a card like this. Lola. <laughs> That's going to give us two resources and a clue. How many clues do we need? We just need one more. Okay, we can get one more. We have two investigates left. Uh, we're going to investigate here. Going to commit some cards. 
Um, I think I'll do these two. Which will give us a card. You're not Lola. Um, but we're going to go... What is it? Nine to three? Seven to three? Holy shit. So we got eight to three for every two points that succeeds, but I may return a card to your hand. I'll take these back. Is it skill card or just a card? Wow! We're going to grab a clue and gain $2. Uh, and then we're going to haste and we're going to do it one more time. I'm going to commit the cards I just have. You know, actually, we're going to do um, grift and manual decks. And that puts us up to 9 to 3 again. Nice. Oh, sorry. We'll draw a card with our ability. Hey, we'll draw a card with the manual decks. We'll gain a clue and we'll gain 2 money. Okay, this deck's kind of, like, really fun to play. I'm having a great time with this Winifred deck. Uh, the, the no Faustian Bargains were definitely the right choice. A uh, well-connected actually probably would have gone hard, though. Okay, upkeep. There's the two Lolas. She only commits for book, though. All right, well, we can spend eight clues because we have... Gilman's Journal. We have Gilman's Journal, Scrap of Torn Shadow, and a Cornhusk Doll. So we're going to keep one of our clues for right now. Spread through the surrounding area, traces of cult paraphernalia and ritual texts survive the destruction. When at last you gather enough to make sense of them, the true horror dawns. These are the cultists of a being called Azathoth. Let's go! An Azathoth hint not at the end of the campaign? Let's rock! And they crave nothing more than oblivion for themselves and for the universe. You don't know if their nihilistic void can be undone, but you can certainly try. Um... Carefully, you begin to undo the spells they have woven, but you're only halfway done when the sound around you suddenly mutes to a fraction. For the first time, something emerges from the black hole. Spawn the set-aside Singularity Harbinger at the hole in the universe, and then add player clues to the hole in the universe. I can do that. Oh. <laughs> He's huge. He has 20 health. Okay. Massive Retaliate. Singularity Harbinger. He cannot be moved. While he's exhausted, he gets plus two fight. As a lightning bolt, discard a non-weakness card you control. During the next skill test against Singularity Harbinger, treat each symbol toe, each skull, cultist, tablet, or squid. We need a shorthand for that. Skull, cultist, tablet, squid. Skisk. Skitsk. During a treat, each schizo token revealed as a zero instead. All sound around the entity is muted and hollow, drawn into the void and forever lost. Okay. Um, the entity descends from the portal, staring at you with eyes as empty and black as the void it came from. Somehow, oh, Mythos token, that's pretty smart. Let's do dense bars. They should, they should hire you just to name stuff. Uh, some of you got to undo the cult's ritual and drive the beam back into the depths of darkness. Lightning Bolt, if there are no clues in your location, deal player damage to Singularity Harbinger. If Cornhouse Doll is listed under mementos discovered in the campaign log, automatically evade Singularity Harbinger group limit once per location. Okay, so we do have the Cornhouse Doll, so this actually should be a pretty doable fight. Nope, not 2 health. 20 health. Let's make it big. Okay. We are going to lose a location, which kind of sucks. I think we just eat up this one. Winifred can get this move up here. I mean, Winifred's just on evade duty. Well, I mean, actually, in all fairness, though, I do think that we could fight this thing for a very long time. And actually, we could Ethereal Weaving it, too. We have a Spectral Razor. We have a Drain Essence. We have a Blinding Light. We actually can use Ethereal Weaving to good effect. Is that allowed? All right, but let's resolve this Mythos phase. All right, choose location. Yeah, we will choose this one. Oh, uh, sorry, we're gonna put it up here. And then this is gonna go 
Move each investigator and enemy. Each attachment is going to go goes away. And this is going to move up here. Ah! It's a cool scenario. I think it's very flavorful. It's very fun. I think Beard did a great job on it. I think this one's actually been my favorite. The Forgotten Age one was also really cool. The Carcosa one I need to give a better shake to. But I think this is actually like a really neat scenario idea. Alright, so now I think we only have six left, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So now the skulls are minus three. Alright. Let's see what's cooking. Ancient evils, that's not great. <laughs> A demonic piping, that's not great either. Crypt chill, that is okay. We're gonna go five to four. No! My scroll of secrets! How could you? All right, well, we're going to lose this location. But I think Agnes just moves into this location and she just weaves ethereally, right? I think that's just kind of like how we do things. Play each reveal event. It's to cost to play a spell event, you may take one damage. So uh, because I'm assuming I am playing them, I can also still use my ability. So I am going to do it. I am going to do that. Okay. Uh, Agnes is going to move in here. And let's see what this is all about. Hole in the French universe is connected to... Sorry, hole in the universe, not hole in the French universe. Hole in the universe is connected to each adjacent French location and vice versa. After the agent advances, deal one damage and one horror to each investigator at hole in the universe. That's not great. <laughs> I'll admit that that is not, like, what you want to see. Notably, my attacks don't deal a lot of damage to this guy. So that's also, like, not great. We don't have, like, a, a nice, easy way to fight this thing. Because we can deal 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 if all goes well. <laughs> it's going to be a fight. This is not... I mean, this uh, is a, a deck that's not... Um, Not great against this guy. Like, it's not great against bosses like this. But I am going to still spend two actions. I'm going to get dinged for this, which is actually kind of fucking hilarious. Because this does not... This still provokes attack as opportunity. But, you know, that's just, like, the way it works. So that's what we're going to have to do. So we're going to play Ethereal Weaving. Um, we're going to start with the Spectral Razor. Uh, we're going to put the damage on this. Actually, I think we'll probably be able to return this to our hand this turn. So let's not. Dude, I got to draw three cards with this? That's insane. Alright, so we're going to use Olive. So we're going to reveal four tokens. I have nine to three. I'll take the plus one and the skull. So we'll deal two damage to this guy. That's 18. Uh, we'll draw a card, because we played a spell. Hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not great, but I mean, like, in theory, like, we'll live until then? It's a player card one in your hand, at least. That is true. All right, uh, and then we're going to play Drain Essence. I'm going to take a damage. Actually, I, I, sh I think we don't want to shovel this back in. I think we'd rather see things like Spectral Razors. Um, so we got this thing. So we get to go six. So we're going to go seven to three. We get to draw a card because we played Heirloom of Hyperborea. Uh-oh. Nice. I may heal a damage. I'd love to. I would love to. Um, and then I get to move a damage from me onto this guy. That's the shit we love. <laughs> I'm going to take a damage. I'm going to put this one on this one, I think, to play this blinding light. And we're going to go 7 to 2. 
Nice. So we deal two damage to the enemy we just evaded. I'm going to draw a card because I played a spell. And then I'm going to shuffle this into my deck. This is non elite enemy, right? Yeah, that's going to be a little bit awkward. Um, okay. And then I will take two horror. But as you said, it is a spell effect while it's in my hand. So we're going to put it on that. And this is going to come back. All right. I'm going to spend one, two, three to play Lola Santiago. Boost up these stats. Uh, and then I'm going to use my... Thieves get to investigate, so we're going to go 7 to 3. Yeah. We have 4 to 3, so we got to grab a clue. And I'm going to use the lightning bolt on this ability, on this location, to deal 2 damage to this guy. Put him down to 13. It's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight to get there. And Parallel Agnes is going to take a lot of shit. I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, and then I think I'm going to move in here for my last action. I know I could go in here and do this, but I think I would rather... Um, start working on this one. Well, there are five or fewer resources in your resource pool. Oh, it's the Fairmont Estate! Uh, you cannot discover clues from Fairmont. Well, it's, uh, if there are no clues, gain two resources. That's fun. Um, but I am going to just, like, spend two money and buy a clue. Okay. Yeah, Preston! Come help us! Watch, this is nice. Explosive Ward's bad. I definitely made the wrong cuts at the beginning, but that's okay. Alright, so we're going to suck this location in. Then these move over. And then we have to take a damage and a horror. And then we draw some cards. Uh, we'll go six to four. Oh, sorry, we'll go eight to four. Nice, we'll draw a card, take a horror. Cool. Uh, also, during that test, I'm going to quickly just buy a clue here. I mean, that's a good draw. Because uh, we also still have What's-His-Nuts coming out. <laughs> and that's going to be a bit of a problem. Everyone knows What's-His-Nuts. What's-His-Nuts is the, the, the Piper of Azathoth. Okay. Well, I think we have Winifred go first. And we're going to go 7 to 2. I'm going to commit this. We're going to put the house on it. And I think I'm going to commit this. So we're going to draw a card. And we are 10 to 2. Nice. So we got to get two resources. We got to grab a clue. We got to gain six resources back. Only problem is we can't get rid of these thieves kits now. Like, I mean, we have the emergency cash, so like we're gonna have the investigates to get this done. But still, all right, uh, we'll investigate. Uh, I'm gonna commit this. And I think that, yes. So we're going to go a million to two. 
The token is not a million, so we're going to be okay. Oh, sorry, I draw a card when I committed those two cards. It's a good draw. Uh, we are going to do this to deal two damage to this guy and exhaust him. How many times do you think I can take two horror chat? <laughs> Probably not that many more. All right, well, we're gonna move up here for our last action. Barnes Estate. While Jenny Barnes is at this location, it gets minus two shroud value. Searching for Izzy uh, cannot be attached to Barnes Estate. After you move, spend three or more resource, total resource during your turn, move to connect location. That's kind of neat. Okay. So we have two Pipers of Azathoth. We have one Piper of Azathoth, two Ancient Evils in here. So it's going to get pretty spicy. I'm going to spend four resources to kill this guy. Uh, it's a Night God in the Arts, so I get some bonus points for that. Uh, and then I think I take a damage. Oh, I, I, I want to play this. I feel like I have to. But I think we just don't. And we just assume we're going to win this race. We're going to take two damage to play the Spectral Razor. We're going to use Olive to reveal four cards, four tokens, and then I'll um, return this to my hand if, I, if we get there. But also draw a card off the... That's a good draw. Uh, so we have seven to his four. Seven to his five. Sure. We can get through there with Olive. Okay, well, we will deal two damage to him. Uh, we're going to choose the minus two and the zero. Um, we did take a damage. So we'll shovel this back into our deck. We took the damage, right? Yeah, we put it on this. Okay. Uh, then we'll go upkeep. Are you all ready for, um, <laughs> are you all ready for, uh, Winifred to just try to punch this guy a bunch? If anyone can do it, it's Winifred Habemach, right? Because anything you can do better. All right, one of two. Ancient Evils. Yep, this can get sucked in. Victor display with you. Um, and then we take a damage and a horror, which is not great, admittedly. Scaring Fog is okay. Okay. Can we get four clues off this location? I think we can. But I don't think it matters. I think Agnes goes first. So I think Agnes is going to take a damage to play this Drain Essence. And we're going to go 5 to 3. Let's do that. Hmm. We are failing. It's just a matter of how we want to fail. I mean, I guess we take the minus one and the minus four, and we just fail the test. This guy does have retaliate. Um, we'll deny the horror and take the damage. This is going to shuffle back in. Uh, we're going to draw a card. I think we do that before we do this, so I'm just going to draw this one right there. Hey, read the signs. Just what we need. Actually, that read the signs could be really good. Except for the fact that we have a six shroud location here. Okay. And then we try to blinding light this guy. And 
we have five to two. Ah, oh, we just gotta hope it gets there. Oh, it did get there. That was very lucky. All right, so we're gonna we didn't reveal a mythos token, so we are gonna deal two damage to this guy and evade him. And then I think for our last action, we're just gonna play read the signs. We're cutting it close. Sorry, I'm gonna draw a card as well. Uh, we're gonna play read the signs, and we're gonna go seven to six. That's not great. Eight to six. Nine to six. I'm doing it. I, I believe. I believe that this is the path to victory. Nice. I'm gonna grab these clues. And then this goes away. And then there's no clues on my location. So we can do this to deal two damage to this guy. What a spicy time this is! This Spectral Razor is going to have to go the fucking distance, I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, we take two horror. So this goes, and that goes. It's going to be close! It's going to be close, because we can deal two more damage to him. Winifred has to save all of the icons she can. Because we might need to be punching this guy to death. <laughs> we might need to be punching this guy to death. All right. Well, I am going to investigate. Sorry, what we do first, actually, is I think we do it with these breaking and entering. Because then we have 10 to 4. It's a very comfortable number. Nice. We can go 10 to 4 again. Yeah, that's still good. We'll draw a card as well. Uh, we're going to haste up an investigate action, and we'll use this. And we're going to go 7 to 4. We're going to go 8 to 4, 9, 10 um, to 4. Draw a card. Minus 3 is 7, so we actually got to bring this back. We got to grab a clue. Um, draw a card off the manual decks. Okay. I'm going to use Lola Santiago. Sorry, before we do that, I'm going to use Lola Santiago to grab four clues, to grab this. Um, and then I'm going to ding this guy for two. And then we move in here for our last action. Okay. We have a plan. We go upkeep. One of two. Yeah, you can go here. Yeah, that's fine. Five to four. Please don't search. Let's go! Okay. Sorry, you should be standing up. So I think what we do is I think we discard Olive to this guy's effect. So now all Mythos tokens. Man, that's that that might stick, astute. All Mythos tokens are revealed as zero instead. Okay. We're then gonna take a damage to play Spectral Razor. And that puts us at seven to his three. That's good. This gets shuffled in. And then I think we just do the lightning bolt on this one. So if there are no clues on your location, deal one damage to Singularity Harbinger. Pull player damage. He is going to be defeated. Dancing upon the edge of the void's pull, you clash with the monster, sparing as much time as you can to counter the spell woven to summon the void. The situation threatens to escape your grasp until suddenly the void is gone and the harbinger with it. Resolution 2. That was a cool scenario. I actually had a really good time with it. A stillness settles over Arkham, though it feels somehow bigger with the sounds of the city returning from the deafening silence. 
You return, uh, sorry, uh, you return to the center of the destruction to search for any remnant of the catastrophe. The landscape is ca uh, cratered as if in an ice cream scoop had carved out the area cleanly. At first, the ruins seem devoid of anything but the remains of foundations, but a strange dark shape flutters in the settling air. You hesitate to touch the thing, but after satisfying your misgivings with a loose handful of dirt, you gingerly lift the object. You might call the thing, you might call the thing cloth, but its texture is unlike anything you've seen. Anything you've ever felt. I can't read. Uh... And you can see unfamiliar stars by looking at it. Whether a powerful artifact or a mere curiosity, you decide it's better to take the thing and leave if any of the cultists... Uh, better to take the thing than leave it for any cultists of Athos to discover. Uh, in your current campaign, the Court of the Void and the French Hill was collapsed. Anyone, invest, one, anyone investigating would choose to add the Void Mantle to their deck. The Void Mantle. Oh! Two cost. Body slot. Soaks for two and two. Plus one skip by wall evading. Lightning bolt exhausted. Deal one damage or horror to it. Your location loses haunted and forced effects until the end of the round. I've just got a treachery in the threat area of an investigate location. Heal one damage or horror from Void Mandel. That's pretty good. Um, we have a scrap of torn shadow, so we go to resolution five. You lift your head to see Anna Caslow gazing coolly down at you, seemingly unsurprised despite the chaos that you just grapple with. To begin to understand the scale of your fate, there is more at stake than the ambitions of mortal magicians. She draws a top card of the tarot deck and shows it to you without looking. The tower, 16, before turning away. Keep that cloak and guard it well. To proceed to resolution 6. You lift yourself from the crater and survey the damaged neighborhood one last time before departing. You earnestly hope that there's, this is not the sign of things to come. If Jenny Barnes was... Ch that's really funny. Uh, we actually had all of them. The web estate... The Barnes Estate and the Fairmont Estate were actually all okay, so they don't get any mental trauma. That was a really fun scenario. I honestly actually had a really good time with it. I think uh, Beard knocked it out of the park on that one. It was just nice and simple, while still having a little bit of um, fear for... Oh, I didn't see this thing. Oh, it's just like this other version of that. Yeah, I think it was a great scenario. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'll have a link down to all the Mythos Deviation stuff down in the video description, but I want to thank you, Beard, for designing it, and uh, all of you awesome patrons for supporting the channel, and anyone who's watching this video who is watching me live on Twitch. I love all of you. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and as always, a GG's.